The peak of the medicinal mountain was covered by a cloud. A strange medicinal fragrance spread, causing one's heart to feel untroubled, as though one was in a divine place. There were clusters of medicinal ingredients gathering like a sea on top of the medicine mountain. There was an incomparably huge stadium floating in the air above the medicinal ingredient sea. There were four huge medicinal cauldrons at the four corners of the square. A pill fragrance slowly rose from them as a smoke charged into the cloud. There were many human figures standing on this floating stage. Many lively conversations were being emitted. Their eyes were all looking to the north. There were many stone chairs neatly arranged there. Pretty female servants shuffled around the two sides of the stone chairs like butterflies. Those agile hands filled all the jade cups on the stone tables. Swoosh, swoosh. Xiao Yin and Yao Lao rushed to the top of the mountain. Their eyes swept around. They were about to find a random spot to take a seat when Elder Wanhua stood from a stone chair at the side. He loudly laughed, Alliance Chief Yao Chun, young friend Xiao Yin, this way please. Yao Chen? Xiao Yin? The Sky Mansion Alliance, huh? It is unexpected that even those two have come. According to the rumors, it seems that this Yao Shang was once someone from the Yao clan, but he was subsequently expelled from the clan for some reason. Something like this actually happened? He, if this is really the case, does that not mean that the current Yao clan deeply regrets their decision? The laughter of Elder Wanhua immediately attracted many pairs of eyes to the location of Xiao Yin and Yao Lao. The current Sky Mansion Alliance was extremely well known and was appearing like the new overlord of the Central Plains. Most people present had heard about the chief of the alliance in name and its spiritual leader. Many private whispers began to pop up. Xiao Yin completely ignored these various gazes. All he did was simply look at Yao Lao. Haha, ha, it is just as you have said. We represent the Sky Mansion Alliance. If they do not give us a good position, they would be looking down on our alliance. Yao Lao Lao Get? Xiao Yin smiled upon hearing his explanation. After which, their bodies flashed and appeared a short distance from Elder Wanhua. They found a position and sat down. The sharp female servants by the side hurried forward and served them. Elder Wangue smiled at the both of them after they had sat down. Those other elders beside him felt a little unnatural. These elders were all senior representatives of the Yao clan. If Yao Chen had continued to remain in the Yao clan, he would have had to greet them upon sight. Yet the current reality allowed them to understand that they would likely be the ones who would have to greet him. The chief of the Sky Mansion Alliance was a position was comparable to the head of the Yao clan. There is nothing interesting to see during the start of the medicinal ceremony. It is merely some young fellows within the Yao clan displaying their skill. The main event of the medicinal ceremony is after that. Yao Lao looked down at the incomparably large stone stage below and softly laughed. He immediately looked at Xiao Yin and said, if you can emerge victorious in that final competition, the position of the top alchemist on the continent will belong to you. I don't really care about my position, but the Yao clan is really extremely arrogant. I am only planning to use the alchemist skills that teacher has taught me show them that their reckless and foolish actions back then have caused the Yao clan to lose a true genius. Xiao Yin smiled as he responded. His alchemist skills had already surpassed Yao Lao. But the reason he was able to attain such an achievement was because of the teachings of Yao Lao. If he were able to emerge victorious in such a place, no one within the Yao clan would dare to stop Yao Lao from leaving his parents' name on the clan's tablet. You little fellow, Yao Lao smiled as he chided him. However, his face was filled with a pleased expression. The heavens had really blessed him with such a disciple. Even though your alchemist skills have already reached the pinnacle, it will not be an easy matter to emerge victorious in this medicinal ceremony. Yao Lao's expression became grave as he said, those who can participate in the final competition between alchemists are basically the top individuals of this world. It would be impossible to even find alchemists of this within the pill tower. Xiao Yin gently nodded. 
He naturally did not think that those who could participate in the alchemist competition were mediocre individuals, but the stronger his opponent, the more interested he was in competing. Ever since that enjoyable match with others during the pill gathering back then, Xiao Yin had not been able to compete with others in terms of medicinal pill refinement in such an environment for a very long time. Moreover, the opponents this time around would be many times stronger than the opponents of the pill gathering. The human traffic around the stone stage expanded while Xiao Yin and Yao Lao were chatting. Subsequently, various noises shot toward the sky. The buzzing voices caused even the clouds in the sky to scatter a little. The voices spread before a gong sound rang through the sky. Many members of the Yao clan swiftly stood up. Their respectful voices spread in a mighty manner. Welcome, clan head. The clouds in the sky churned as the vast and mighty greeting reverberated before they separated. A white-robed, white-haired old man slowly stepped forward. His hand landed against the air and emitted waves of mysterious fluctuations. Space seemed to have solidified at this moment. Clan head of the Yao clan? A grave expression flashed through Xiao Yan's eyes as he stared at this white-haired old man, who was filled with a warm friendliness. He could sense an unusually powerful aura radiating from the old man's body. This aura was many times stronger than Elder Wanwa's aura. This is the clan head of the Yao clan, Yao Dan. He is currently a seven-star Sheng. Yao Lao's eyes were a little complicated as he looked at the white-haired old man. Regardless of what happened, the blood of the Yao clan still flowed within his body. His heart felt some emotion when seeing the clan head of the Yao clan. Seven Star Do Sheng, Xiao Yin narrowed his eyes. This should be the strongest person within the Yao clan. He was indeed a little stronger than the strongest in the Sky Mansion. The foundation of an ancient clan was indeed something to be envious of. Ha ha, those who have come are guests. The clan head of the Yao clan, Yao Dan, revealed a warm smile on his face as he stood in the sky. He cupped his hands to the densely packed crowd. Then, his eyes suddenly leaped over everyone and paused on Yao Lao. Those flickering eyes contained a complicated emotion. Xiao Yin, who was seated beside Yao Lao, also sensed Yao Dan's gaze. His expression did not change, but a black light flashed beside him. The northern king once again appeared. Its indifferent eyes stared at Yao Dan. It was just like a wild beast, which would suddenly become violent and start killing if prompted. Yao Lao slowly lifted his head. His eyes looked directly at Yao Dan as he faintly smiled. He cupped his hands together and greeted, Greetings to clan head Yao Dan. Yao Chun, we have all been mistaken. Yao Dan's eyes focused on Yao Lao before immediately shifting to Xiao Yin. His eyes paused on the northern king beside Xiao Yin as he let out a soft sigh for an unknown reason. He took a step forward and appeared beside the main seat as many Yao clan elders respectfully welcomed him. Ha ha, old man Yao Dan, are you finally willing to exit your retreat? Yao Dan was just about to sit when another voice that was ancient, and experienced slowly propagated through the sky. There was also an extremely dense medicinal fragrance contained within this voice. After which, everyone saw a green light flicker in the distant horizon. Within a couple of breaths, a pale green medicinal cauldron quickly cut through the air and arrived. There was an old man in ordinary linen robes on the medicinal cauldron. A walking stick made from medicinal ingredients was held in his hand. Many jade bottles hung on this walking stick, emitting clear clanging sounds as they shook. Old man Shen Nong, it is unexpected that even such an elder has appeared. Surprise flashed within Yao Lao's eyes when he saw this person. Xiao Yin by the side was startled before he seemed to have recalled something. The grave expression in his eyes soared. Although the name of this old man Shinong was not very famous, he was an extremely elderly expert within the alchemist world. Even Yao Lao could only be considered a junior when compared to him. It was unexpected that this person, who had been missing for many years, would actually appear in this place. 
It is indeed worthy of the medicinal ceremony. Xiao Yin gently licked his lips. His heart suddenly became boiling hot. Being able to compete with such a person in terms of alchemy skills was really something that would make one's heart boil. Ha ha, old fellow, you are actually still alive, Yao Din softly laughed, but his expression was not the least bit surprised. Old man Shinong stood up from the medicinal cauldron. He waved his hand and stored the cauldron away. His old and experienced eyes swept around him before pausing on Xiao Yin. He let out a soft exclamation before laughing. I have not come out for many years. It is unexpected a new face has appeared within the central plains. A spiritual strength that has reached the perfect heavenly state despite being so young. How surprising. Greetings to Elder Shinnong. Xiao Yin smiled. He calmly cupped his hands together and laughed in front of the many pairs of eyes present. Old man Shenlong smiled as he nodded. He was just about to take his seat when he suddenly frowned and turned around. He looked behind him. A black cloud had suddenly surged over at a shocking speed. Within the blink of an eye, it had turned into a black-clothed middle-aged man. Following the appearance of this person, the entire plaza immediately began to emit a low buzzing sound like the wail of a soul. Hun Huzi of the Hun clan. I have come uninvited. Hopefully, Clan Head Yao Dan does not hold it against me. The black-clothed man faintly smiled. His steady voice spread throughout the square. Hun Hushi. Yao Lao, who was beside Xiao Yin, shook upon hearing this person's name. A cold glint surged into his eyes. Hun Huzi. Is teacher acquainted with him? Yao Lao's reaction had startled Xiao Yin. His eyes scanned the black-clothed middle-aged man in the sky as he gently frowned. It was another person from the Hun clan. These people always appeared in such a mysterious fashion. Do you still recall the small towers incident back then? The person from the Hun clan who had hid within the small pill tower, and in the end, betrayed and wounded his teacher before eventually escaping. Yao Lao's deep voice contained an endless hatred. That person is Hun Huzi? Xiao Yan's heart shook as he exclaimed. I. Yao Lao's flau note dead. His eyes observed Hun Huzi in the sky as he continued in an icy cold voice. This person has an extremely high position within the Hun clan. Even Hun Mieshang cannot compare to him. Unexpectedly, even he has been attracted by the Yao clan's medicinal ceremony. Hun Huzi is relatively important to the Hun clan. If I am not mistaken, he should be the mastermind behind the evil scheme of collecting so many souls. If we can eliminate him, it would be equivalent to breaking an arm of the Hun clan. Xiao Yin narrowed his eyes upon hearing this information. A chill flashed through his eyes. Xiao Yin was only too happy to eliminate the Hun clan. If he found the opportunity, he would try to see if he could kill this Hun Huzi. However, you should not be careless. This Hun Huzi has a great attainment in terms of medicine refinement. Otherwise, he would not have been selected by the chief of the small pill tower back then as a disciple. Adding so many years of training, his alchemy skills have probably already reached a profound and unfathomable level. Yao Lao softly informed Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin nodded. If one were to describe someone who could attain such a position within the clan as a mediocre person, even a little child would not believe this description. Xiao Yin would naturally not underestimate his opponent. Hun Huzi, why has this fellow come? Our Yao clan did not invite him. Hemph, the Hall of Souls has been capturing souls for so many years. It has even ruthlessly attacked alchemists and snatched their souls. Hun Huzi is definitely involved in that matter. We cannot allow such a person to participate in our Yao clan's medicinal ceremony. The appearance of Hun Huzi immediately attracted the intense reaction from many elders of the Yao clan. Many furious gazes were thrown toward Hin Huzi as stern cries rang out. The clan head of the Yao clan in the leader's seat and Elder Wanhua exchanged glances with each other. They discovered that the both of them were frowning. Clearly, 
Han Huzi coming uninvited had exceeded their expectations. The Yao clan had always maintained a distance with the Hun clan. This ancient clan was much older than them. Regardless of what kind of changes the other ancient clans underwent during the past thousands of years, only the Hun clan continued to remain mysterious and strange. The frightening strength it occasionally displayed caused one to involuntarily feel fear. Adding the mysterious disappearance of the Ling clan and the Shur clan, the Yao clan, Lei clan, and Yin clan began to act more cautiously with the Hun and Gu clans. Hence, their hearts felt some displeasure when they saw that Hun Huzi had actually come uninvited. However, it was fortunate that they clearly understood the current situation. Hence, their faces still retained a smile as hosts. Ha ha, looks like the friends from the Yao clan do not seem to welcome me. This does not seem to match the reputation of liking to entertain guests. Hun Huzi placed both of his hands behind him as he stood in the sky. His eyes shifted to Yao Dan as he faintly laughed. Hun Huzi, my Yao clan did not invite you. Moreover, the current Hun clan and Gu clan do not have a relationship with the other ancient clans. These actions of yours are not like before. It might even deepen the doubt we feel for the Hun clan. Elder Wanhua replied in a deep voice. It is precisely because we are unafraid of you deepening your doubt that I have come today. Hun Huzi smiled and said, This medicinal ceremony is considered the greatest alchemist gathering on the continent. Ha ha, I am also interested in the position of the top alchemist on the continent. If Elder Wanhua has the qualification to give me this qualification, I will leave immediately. Arrogant. Hun Huzi's words immediately caused some elders in the Yao clan to furiously cry out, Ha ha, my Yao clan is unqualified to give you the name of the top alchemist on the continent. The only thing one can rely on to obtain this name is one's own alchemist skill. Yao Dan faintly laughed and said, Since you are so interested in the name of the top alchemist on the continent, you should remain here. Our Yao clan is not a clan that slights its guests. As long as you obey the rules of my Yao clan, you are the guest of the clan. Otherwise, even if you are the chief alchemist of the Hun clan, I will perhaps have to intervene and restrain you. A sharp murderous intent flashed across Yao Dan's elderly face when he spoke until this point. The might of a clan head caused one to quietly feel awed. Clan head, isn't this a little inappropriate? The surrounding elders of the Yao clan were startled when they heard that Yao Dan would allow this Hun Huzi to remain behind. The medicinal ceremony is the grandest activity within our Yao clan. We cannot simply expel our guest in front of so many people without a reason. That would lead to others thinking that our Yao clan is overbearing. Although we must take precaution against the Hun clan, there are currently many people gathered within this Yao realm. Don't tell me that someone would dare to try something inappropriate. Yao Dan waved his hand and calmly said, The old me will monitor him closely. If there is anything wrong, this elderly self will personally attack and kill him. Hearing Yao Dan's insistence, everyone could only nod as a reply. Clan head Yao Dan is really magnanimous. Hun Huzi softly laughed. The corner of his mouth was curled as a strange smile swiftly flashed within his eyes. His body moved and he appeared on a stone chair in front of many pairs of eyes. This position was coincidentally a short distance away from Yao Lao and Xiao Yin. Yao Chun, you have accepted a good disciple. Even though I have remained deep within the Hun realm, your disciple's name is still extremely well known. Hun Huzi's eyes shifted to a stone chair before landing on Yao Lao. A strange smile surfaced on the corner of his mouth as he spoke. Who can compare with Hun Huzi, who has betrayed his teacher and destroyed his ancestor, in terms of being infamous? Yao Lao smiled and shook his head as he replied. Ha, I have been a member of the Hun clan since I was born and possessed the bloodline of the Hun clan. The matter of destroying my ancestor has nothing to do with me. As for betraying my teacher, haha, I never thought of that old fool as my teacher. 
Hun Huzi merely shook his head in a somewhat serious fashion after listening to Yao Lao's ridicule. Both of his eyes narrowed into a dangerous arc. He casually said, Yao Chun, you should actually be thanking me. If you had not caught my eye back then since I wanted you to work for my Hun clan, your soul would have long since been destroyed. How would you have found the time to wait for your disciple to rescue you? Ha ha, but it doesn't matter. Since you have escaped, all we need to do is recapture you. At that time, the Whatever Sky Mansion Alliance will finally understand just how naive it is. Yao Lao's expression became gloomy after hearing these words. Xiao Yan's expression by the side did not change. He softly laughed but did not speak. With a random wave of his sleeve, the northern king beside him suddenly shot forward. It appeared beside Hun Huzi in a flash. A sharp kick ruthlessly slammed toward Hun Huzi like a large, sharp blade. Humph! The attack, which had suddenly arrived, startled even Hun Huzi for an instant. He had not expected Xiao Yin to be so ruthless. Xiao Yin did not utter a single word before simply attacking, but Hun Huzi was not an ordinary person. He immediately let out a cold snort. The space surrounding him became distorted as his figure strangely disappeared. The next time he appeared, he was on a stone chair in the distance. Bang! The northern king's kick smashed the stone table and chair into dust, after which it stopped moving. Its eyes were indifferent as it glanced at Hun Huzi before returning to Xiao Yan's side and standing as still as a statue. Xiao Yin held a jade cup in his hand while a pretty female servant obediently walked forward to fill it with a fragrant medicinal wine made by the Yao clan. He took a gently sip and suddenly laughed. Cold individuals who have betrayed their teachers should stay far away from me. Ha ha, what a great Xiao Yin. A smile surfaced on Hu Huzi's face as he sat in the stone chair some distance away. His smile was dense and bone-chilling. A frightening energy fluctuation slowly spread from his body as he stared at Xiao Yin, causing the expressions of many elders from the Yao clan to change. Hun Huzi, today is the great ceremony of our Yao clan. Fighting is forbidden. Those who break the rules will be expelled from the Yao realm. Yao Dan, who was sitting in the leader's seat, took a passive attitude as the two dealt with their conflict. He lifted his head and spoke in a faint voice at this moment. Ha ha, since clan head Yao Dan has opened his mouth, I will naturally listen. The smile on Hun Huzi's dense face hardened when he heard this command before it immediately widened. However, the cold glow within his eyes became denser. This old fellow had chosen not to speak when Xiao Yin had attacked. He had instead chosen to step forward and display his impartiality when Hun Huzi retaliated. This was clearly being biased against him in front of so many people. What a great Yao clan! Hun Huzi coldly laughed in his heart. The expression in his eyes also became stranger. Yao Don ignored Hun Huzi's expression. His eyes slowly swept around him. His eyes paused as they swept over Xiao Yin, after which an indifferent voice slowly spread. It was just like thunder as it echoed around the mountain top. It is time. Let the medicinal ceremony begin.